and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am doing a experiment. This um, this product here is one that has been recommended to my friend um, who is also an acrylic pourer and Linda says she uses this one to uh, seal her Oh, brain fade. Um, coffee city on e coasters. That's the word. <laughs> coffee city on e things. Um, so she uses this to seal her coasters, and she finds that it the coasters don't stick to the hot mugs, and they um, don't dent and stuff like that. So I'm going to be doing another test with this. Um, with that and uh, I don't know which one will come out first but one one and one will be first one will be the second <laughs> but what this test is going to be all about is it says here also bonds to plastic and so what I was wondering is whether you could use this as a coat on plastic then pour your paint and have it actually adhere and stay and stick and not just peel off like on normal plastic so I'm going to do two tests well I'm going to do a test and a um, control so this one's not going to be painted with this first and this one is going to be painted with this first and we will see which one lasts longer stays better blah 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 so it does say in the instructions and I can't remember where it was uh, on plastic maximum paint adhesion and durability is achieved in five to seven days and it also says somewhere else and I can't remember exactly where it says um, but to uh, Apply a second coat at any time. If top coating a new finish, recoat after 48 hours. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to spray this and I'm going to leave it a week. And then I'm going to come back to it and pour on it. So it's going to give this a chance to completely bond with the plastic and we're going to be good to go. So so that I know which one is which, I'm going to write on this one, sprayed, and you can see that, you know, this is just normal, it's, this is just a normal, like, um, takeaway lid, that's exactly what it is, and not sprayed. And I'm going to wipe both of them down with alcohol. Then I'm going to spray this one and not this one and leave them for a week. And then we'll pour on them. And hey, if they both peel off, then I've got um, some hopefully cool looking skins to use in other projects. So let's get to it. I'm using um, 90, this one's 99% isopropyl alcohol and uh, give that a good wiping down, get a clean spot on the tissue and do this one as well. So up until now they have been identically dealt with, alright, and here's where we change. Um, in a well ventilated area we're going to spray so I'm going to move this one right out of the way so it doesn't get any spray on it at all and then I'm going to spray this one and now the instructions say to uh, Shake can vigorously for one minute um, after mixing balls begin to rattle.
All right, it'll loop. <laughs> okay, now this apparently will spray upside down if you wanted it to. Uh, so I'm just going to... What does it say? Hold can... 10 to 16 inches from surface and spray in a steady back and forth motion slightly overlapping each stroke keep the can the same distance from the surface okay so let's do that I don't know what's 10 inches about that there we go that's our spray how's it get any better than that what else is possible so I'm gonna leave that for a week so today that well might be longer than a week because today is the Monday the week before Christmas and who knows what I am doing the day before Christmas maybe pouring paint but maybe not <laughs> I'll let you know when I pour um, when I pour how long it's been all right so it has been eight days because it is now Christmas morning uh, and I remember saying seven days will be the day before Christmas and I'll probably be too busy and I was so uh, here I am on Christmas morning because I woke up at 20 to 5 in the morning and I'm like what am I going to do laying here no I'm going to go get creative so <laughs> Hopefully everyone else is still asleep in the house, but I'm not. So this is the one that we sprayed, and this is the one that not sprayed. Um, the words are backwards, because if you remember, I wrote it on the bottom. Um, now, I just want to show you this before I start painting on it. There is quite a difference in, in the sheen of these. And I only did that one coat. I haven't done more, multiple coats. But, um, see, see, it's kind of given it a matte-ish finish, whereas this one is still super shiny gloss. So, I mean, even just that will make a difference in its adherence. As long as this is, stays adhered to the plastic, we should be good. There's a couple of places where it has, I have done this weird separate thing let me see if I can come on you can maybe I need to have something other than white behind it there we go there's kind of this weird separate thing happening and I'm not sure whether that that was because I sprayed too much or sprayed too little probably too much and I have only done one one coat um, you know they probably tell us to do multiple coats but I'm doing one because that's all I'm doing <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two as identical as possible flip cups in these tiny little cups here don't need a lot of paint for this area uh, that would be probably a 3 by 6 maybe 3.5 by 6 4 by 6 I don't know I'm not very good at estimating lengths so what colours am I doing? I'm going to put a little bit of white in as we always do. Oh, no, I'm not going to use white. I'm going to use that cream that we made up for what on earth is that? Oh! Oh, that just gave me the heebie-jeebies. I had no idea what it was. <laughs> I'd kicked my um, my pottery wheel, my kid's pottery wheel, and it just nudged it enough to turn the, the switch on, but it had the Lazy Susan leaned up against it, and so it couldn't turn. It was like, eh, 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 eh. I was like, oh, what's that noise? <laughs> the sun's starting to, Well, no, the sun's not coming up. The... Um, the light is starting to show through the rain clouds. <laughs> Christmas morning and it's been raining. <sighs> Anyone would think we're in the Northern Hemisphere. But at least it's warm. Right. 
So I've got this off-white, which was made with pure white and yellow ochre. Um, we made that for the live. I'm actually going to just lean them up so that we've got a depth to do a bit of a dirty pour. Because uh, I don't need a lot of paint. So Now this, this is also from the live video. That was fun. That was one of the best live videos I've done. The painting came out, we all had fun, it was awesome, I liked it. If you haven't seen it, um, there is, in the end card, at the end of the video, I'm going to start putting in the playlist for uh, where I put all of my videos, not only the ones that have got numbers on them, but also the live videos go in there as well, and um, So, you can check that out. Go find it in that. So, what, what have I done so far? I've done cream, ultramarine, burnt sienna. The ultramarine is metallicized. Uh, so is this. This is cerulean blue. And it's been metallicized as well. And both of the blues have got silicon in them. And then I'm going to put in a little bit of this deep turquoise. And I have no idea if that has silicon in it or not. And then from up high, I'm going to pop in a little bit more of the white, the cream. You cannot see that, can you? Let me put that over there. Tilt the camera. And then you can... See how by going from up high, it pushes it down into the paint a bit more? Awesome! Let's do this funky thing. Do this funky thing. Alright, so we're going to do flip cups. Probably got too much paint. And it can't run off because we've got the ridges around the side. Hey look, we get to see the flip cup on the other si underside. Let's turn it back over and see what it looked like. Ha <laughs> ha, kiss. Okay. Do the same on that side. Oh, I'm not going to turn it back again because <laughs> it's splurted. Okay, and hit that one up there. And let's give them a little bit of a heat blast. silicon coming up. I'm definitely liking that one better than that one. There's less silicon color than this one. I probably could have done more paint, but I need to be able to get my fingers in and under to try and peel it off. I am loving the cells on this left hand side one. What? Anything I did different is I flipped the right hand side one over that second time too. 
have a look at the underside. And it might have sat for a little bit longer too. All right, those are big enough to use on cards. If I can peel them off, I can then stick them onto a card. So let's give them, oops. Give them another bit of a torching. Oh, those cells are starting to come through now. Look at that. Very different paintings, but this is a good proof that you cannot replicate yourself. I have done identical pause. You've watched that and look at the difference. When people say to me, aren't you worried people will duplicate your work? Nah. <laughs> good luck to them. So let's have a look at these and then I'm going to let them dry. Uh, that's beautiful. Look at those. Those are yummy, yummy cells. Kind of wish that white line th wasn't through it, but they are yummy anyway. Even over here, you can start to see a little bit of the metallic and the dark blue. And then in the brown, you can see some of the metallics where it's. You see that cell? It's a couple of them cells come up through the very fine layer of metallic that was there and just left perfect burnt sienna. That's cool. All right, and let's have a look at this one. This one's a lot more subtle. These cells through here are quite clear and but then we get into the subtleties where my camera can't actually focus. <laughs> Gotta love that. So I like that. It's very subtle. And yet, it's there. So, what's the next step in this experiment? Oops. It's to leave them to dry. And I'm going to leave them to dry for, um, well... Let me look. I've got I've got several projects on the go, so there's gonna it's gonna be yeah. I'm gonna try and leave this to these to dry for for a week. Um and then we can have a test pull. <laughs> so guys I will see you in another week. And for you, lucky you, that's in about three, two, one. All right. So welcome back. Welcome forward. Uh, so we poured these Christmas morning, which is the 25th, and it's now the 30th. No, 29th. It's the 29th today. So yeah. that's five days because it's the evening. Anyway. Whatever that is. Let's give it a go. Let's see which one comes off easily. We've got sprayed and not sprayed. So just to show you what this would do on a spray, not sprayed one. Look at that. How easy that just peels straight off. Got a beautiful skin to use either side. Oh, that's pretty there. I like that. Um... Really easy to make skins if you wanted to make skins. Let's have a look and see if this has done anything. Oh yeah, I can get it off, but it is resisting a little bit more. But what I'm noticing with what's left behind is it's taking up the... Um, you can see where, the, where it's been. It's left the, the smooth... You can see the line where the paint was. So it has peeled, just peeled the whole lot off. No, no additional other than this one's now got a, <laughs> a layer of varnish on the underside. Pre-varnished. <laughs> Pre-varnished. How does it get any better than that? Um, 
So there we go. I've got two pretty skins that I can use for something in the future. Uh, <laughs> can make some cards out of that or whatever. Tattoos. But that has not solved the age-old problem of painting on plastic. So how does it get any better than that? Uh, I think the best option for painting on plastic is to paint on it and then resin over it, making sure that it is well sealed with the resin. I'm trying to avoid resin. Have you ever noticed that a lot of my exper <laughs> experiments are about avoiding resin? I'm, I've judged it as ex very expensive and I don't want to use it. Interesting point of view. I have that point of view. How does it get any better than that? So guys, thank you for coming to play with me on this very cute little experiment. And uh, I'm going to pop this one up and I will also pop up another video today of what the results of the live were. So keep an eye out for that. Coming super, super soon. Come join us on Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group. And uh, what magic can we create together? And what interesting experiments are coming up next on my channel? Um, stay tuned, stay subscribed. And how does it get any better than this? Bye-bye.